वेलकम बैक टू इंडियन ऑयल रेस अक्रॉस इंडिया अ साइकिलिंग रेस फ्रॉम श्रीनगर टू कन्याकुमारी इट्स अ थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वन किलोमीटर रेस guys welcome back today i want to talk about the kind of highlights that happened in indian oil race across india yes that was the event and i am super 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 grateful to being on the longest cycling race in india and asia world ultra cycling association was a part of it and they made this race the asian ultra cycling championship and it will be conducted every third consecutive year in india now what made this race an international level race was that it was of ram format now ram is race across america and race across america is a long distance cycling race in america from west to east it's a 5000 km race it has to be completed in 12 days and there are categories and stuff like that so we were like okay all of these indians who are like good at cycling and know the sport and they want to like challenge themselves and stuff they go out to do these kind of long distance races so the organizing team was like okay why not do this in india and this came when we went for ride across india if you want to check out my crewing experience in ride across india thank god for my vlogging at that point is over here you can check that with that experience all the people who were on board with ride across india they are the organizers of indian oil race across india okay, so i'm going to give you like a lot of behind the scenes that happened with organizing this beautiful race it was not so beautiful in the beginning organizing this kind of a race was the biggest challenge i think uh anyone in this cycling industry in india has ever done it is with experience that these people on the organizing board stand together and they were like okay we're going to create the longest cycling race in asia so let's go on let's move on to the beginning of the race what really happened as the organizing team sat together and they discussed the ideas behind this kind of a race mere liye bhi the coordination with ministry of sports many ministry of tourism फाइनल रूट फाइनल प्रोग्राम नंबर ऑफ डेजन स्टेज ओपन इंक्रीज बिकॉज द गैप बिटवीन द गाइज द फास्टेस्ट एंड द स्लोएस्ट Uh, meaning we assume that the fastest team will will run at 700 kilometers per day. The team of four can do that, and uh, the slowest will be a solo guy who try to finish the race at 300 kilometers per day. So with that kind of delta in the speeds, in the number of days, that uh, the gap between these two guys is going to widen and widen and widen. So yes. almost towards the end, you know, the time station will be open for 780. Four teams go. एक दो तीन एक दो तीन ऐसे छह टीम बनाने पड़ेंगे और वो अपने टाइम से जाएंगे और वो काम कंप्लीट करके नागपुर आ जाएंगे जस्ट ट्राइंग टू रिकैप कि अपन ने कौन से स्टेशन बोले थे अपन मैन करेंगे लुधियाना बोला था उसके बाद दिल्ली स्ट्रेट अवे फिर ग्वालियर पे बोला था शायद ग्वालियर के बाद नागपुर आता शायद है ना फिर सीधा हैदराबाद हाँ बैंगलोर बोला था और बैंगलोर से शायद कन्याकुमारी सिक्स किलोमीटर फाइव टाइम स्टेशन हेड्स they will control all these 50 people who we will require correct so we will identify these 50 people right away straight away we will start and we will appoint one time station ka jo in charge hai do jan unko de denge and they start training them because we have to train training is very essential how they have to catch so all that we will have to do so reki ke liye jana hai ya na december mein 
कौन जाएगा रैकी के लिए तो सारे वो चेक Why this race sticks out the most uh, amongst all the ultra cycling races in the world is because of the 24/7 traffic movement. Being the biggest, you know, uh, distance of 3,651 kilometers, to make sure that all riders are safe is not the easiest. And so, the mandatory rule was for all the riders to have a car behind them 24/7. Come what may, whatever happens, there has to be someone behind the rider. This Indian Oil Race Across India is a Make in India venture. And that a lot of the government organizations came on board for this, which is such a beautiful feature of this race. The biggest part of this race was the sponsor. Indian Oil sponsored this race. Without Indian Oil, I do not think that the format of this race would have been achieved. NHAI, uh, you know, supported us in this race. Like the helpline number available to us 24/7. CRPF who helped us along the route, uh, especially in Jammu and Kashmir, because we had trouble with the traffic. Because there's only one path which is open from Srinagar to Jammu. There's only one highway which is NH44. It was the kind of amalgamation of a lot of different organizations together. Like we all came together to make this. Such a beautiful experience. We had JNK Sports Council who graciously welcomed us into their uh, sports arena, which is Bakshi Stadium in Srinagar. The feel of the race was branding, social media, doing the posts, doing the introduction of the racers. So for any rider who's standing at the start line, it's obviously going to be daunting. It's obviously going to be nerve-wracking. So the organizers recognize that factor of this race. Like okay. you turn, we'll go up. 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 We'll Today is the day, first of March, and uh, I, I, I am so, so grateful and thankful to all the participants who had come here, and uh, I wish them uh, great luck and have a safe ride. Obviously, it's going to feel, you know, like a huge task ahead of you. So, to kind of eliminate a little bit of that was to celebrate these riders, was to celebrate their stories, where they come from, what they do, uh, what kind of backgrounds they come from, what kind of life they lead. All these riders were super excited to be there, super elated to start their journey from Srinagar all the way towards Kanyakumari. This race was ideated because Indians definitely need a place to shine. Uh, especially cyclists in this country and especially cycling as a sport needs an elevation uh, in this country. And obviously we've heard about short distance races but we've never heard about the long distance races which requires continuous strenuous effort. To keep going for so many days, like this was a 12-day race for solos, 10-day race for team of twos, and 8-day race for team of four. Obviously, the organizers were trying to, you know, uh, put out a good show and put out a good feel, uh, you know, for the riders and their crew members and their families watching online. Keep yourself strong. Huh? 
you know, putting up a grand stage in Srinagar, uh, which was, I think, one of the most unique stages uh, for a cycling race that happened in India. Bharat Pataki! Bharat Pataki! Bharat Pataki! One day! One day! One day! That's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this, please do give a thumbs up. It means a lot. Do comment about your favorite part of this race. Do check out the kind of massive social media campaign that we did on our page on Instagram as well as YouTube as well as Facebook. So do check that out and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you for the next one.